Hey everyone, hope everyone's happy, healthy, and well. Um, hope your week is going good. We're going to do a short little reading here today. Um, and let's see what we get. I already prayed over the cards. And I asked all my spirit guides and the archangels to come into this reading and guide it. So let's see what we get here. I did pull one overall energy card already from... The I believe it's the Angel Oracle deck. I still am not sure on that. Please comment down below if you know what this deck is. Um, this is Valuing Your Self-Worth. You are God's Precious Gem. And that really nice shiny diamond there in the middle. And the Archangels watching over this energy, guiding this energy. They're already coming in strong before this energy, before I started the reading. And we have Mr. Felix. Mr. Felix, you want to say hi? Hi, babies. Say hello. <laughs> He's chilling with me today. Trying to keep him out of trouble. Okay. Let's go with the Secrets of the Mystic Grove deck. I already shuffled before, but whoa, that's weird. This one card is turned... The opposite way. There we go. Give it a nice good shuffle. Cut the deck and what's on top is secrets. Ooh. Whisper confidences and sharing with a fox. Now I'm going to read this card. I'm learning this deck with you all, so thank you for your patience. Uh, it says, this open-hearted woman has learned that sharing herself with someone else can help her grow. No longer does she hide her pain and her joy. She tells everything to her trusted friend, the fox, who listens intently. The woman whispers her dreams, her fears, her hopes, and her losses so that they are heard. Even when she can't find the fox, she knows she can breed that part of herself out to the flowers and the trees. When she shares herself with nature, she sh feels connected to the universe, to the world. Who is honored with the very deepest parts of your inner self? Allow someone you trust to hear your hidden secrets. Don't bottle it up. There's no need to tell the whole world your most treasured stories or your worst nightmares. Just find that one person who will listen to you as you listen to them. Unfold the pages of your unwritten journal. Let them read those delicate parchment desires. Be brave enough to whisper what you really need to share with that one special confidant. And if that companion isn't here yet, take heart. They are on their way. For now, speak those hopes and fears to the trees and the flowers so that your voice can be heard. And let's see, this first prompt here is a question, where is my favorite spot to be with nature? So that's something you can meditate on. Um and try to go out to that favorite spot and meditate there or just enjoy the scenery and let your heart be free and let your spirit feel the wind, feel the warmth, feel the coldness of the weather and just connect one in, just connect w within, just connect as one with nature. Okay, let's see. I'm going to use this deck. I'm going to keep this diamond card out, though. And we have Opal. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So I'm getting painting really came up like a big canvas with paint on it came up in my mind. Um, I've been getting that a lot. I feel like painting is a really good outlet. It channels any unhealthy energies in a healthy manner. Um, and even if it's just painting an abstract, you don't have to be perfect at it, you know, just get some paint out and draw the brush on the paper and just see how it feels and let yourself flow. Um, that might be a really good creative outlet for you right now. I'm going to pull one more from this deck. 
We have Karoite. Oh, this keeps coming up. This has been in a couple readings. Spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So that's, again, the archangels are coming in, and they're saying that they would love to help you out. You just have to ask them for help. Um, that's a big one that always seems to come up is the issue with asking for help from um, higher guides. Um, you do have to ask their help to intervene in your life, or they won't they won't be able to help you appropriately. Um, they're not allowed to intervene in the divine plan, you know, without your consent, basically. So you have to want their, their help, um, and you have to ask for it. Um, and that can be as simple as saying, Archangel Michael, you know, please help me get through the day and remain strong and healthy and confident. Um, you know, any sort of request um just ask their name first and then your request and always remember to thank them um and then be grateful when that when that you know thing turns out to be good or it may be in a different way than you imagined but it's the angels have heard your prayers it's not that they haven't heard your prayers if something does not show up um or does not come true um Sometimes they can't fix everything, you know, but they are there to help you and support you and guide you um, in the divine path of life. So, yeah. And I'm getting, um, it'd be great to get an amethyst crystal. Um, it might really help you to, uh, you know, stay calm, remain calm, grounded, um, clear thought, um, it's very relaxing stone, so you might want to check out into getting an amethyst, or if you already have one, work with it, and um, if it's small enough, put it in your pocket during the day, or your purse, or somewhere where you that you have it close to you. Um, maybe even get a little bag for it, like a little velvet bag. I have, I have like a bigger version velvet bag, but you can get tiny ones that'll fit in your pocket. So check that out. Um, I love going to cr crystal shops. If you have any nearby, I would definitely recommend uh, checking the crystals out. Maybe you have like a little spiritual uh, tarot shop somewhere uh, close to you. Uh, definitely check that out. I'm getting that um, that'll lead you into new avenues and spark your creative desires. And this was... um. Another card that came up on top um, earlier when I was shuffling off camera, um, it's, I believe it's Kane, Con, or is it Kanye? Con, Con, Kane, Life Force Energy. Okay, I don't know much about that card, so I'm going to read out of the book here. There it was. Hydrate and nourish your body. Good health is returning. Okay, so it is Kanye. Kanye. Um, is a major Hawaiian god of fresh water or Hawaii, the creative energy source of all life. A revered ancestor who once walked the terrain of Hawaii, Kanye cracked open the cr rocks to bring forth pure water springs from deep inside the land. Hawaiians hold great respect for this god, who provide the, mis the physical and spiritual life force energy to sustain them. It's believed that gods or akua take many forms, such as plants, animals, or na natural symbols. These various bodies are called kinalu and give people food, raw materials, medicines, and ceremonial objects. Kanye has numerous kinalu, including plants, Hawaiian owls, and coral, but his most important forms are fresh water and sunlight. Rainbows are his sacred sign. So you might be seeing some of these symbols in your life um, or have recently seen them. I'm getting especially the owls. Owls might be like really prevalent in your life right now. Um, or you might be, like, seeing, like, art of owls, um, maybe, like, even in your workspace. Um, they might have, like, put some new artwork up. So it says, bursting with vitality, Kanye comes with a simple message. Your body would benefit from drinking more fresh water and eating nutrient-rich foods. He does not come to judge or lecture you. He invites you to stand beneath his waterfall, soak up his rainbow colors, and tune into your body's real needs. I'm just going to show this card one more time because it's just so amazing. He's under that rainbow waterfall 
looks so relaxing. It says your spirit needs a reminder about cultivating true health and life force energy. Every drop of water or morsel of food contains a living consciousness and vibrational power. Is the way you eat and drink supporting your highest purpose? So I'm getting like um, juices, like raw juices. Um, you can even buy them pre-made, you know, at the store by like Bolt House Farms has some. Um, I can't remember the other one I get. Um, but in your local grocery store, they should have it in like the uh, produce section and check those juices out get one that seems good and like you might like it and enjoy it um like i'm getting detox too they have like the green machine ones um where it's a bunch of like green vegetables and fruits that are more detoxing out all of the crap that gets stuck in your body um in your liver and your kidneys and your stomach um I'm just getting that your body really needs a cleanse of food and definitely try to eat like fresh vegetables um, even if you're like sauteing them um, even if it's getting it in a frozen already pre-made meal like try to pick ones that have more nutrients in them more uh, vitamins and minerals and all over like good what's the word I guess good nutrients like um, you know, the ones with the vegetables in it. Don't just get, like, chicken fingers. Get maybe a chicken with green bean and mashed potatoes or something. Um, and just try to widen your um, possibilities of foods at this time to more healthy eating eating habits. Okay, that's all I have for you all today. I will be back with another video soon check out my channel like share subscribe comment down below if you enjoyed this video i love doing these videos i'm trying to do them more so if you subscribe you'll get more content and hopefully we'll see you all soon okay love you all have a good night or good day wherever you are whenever you're reading watching this uh i love you all and talk to you later